Anin, Sego. Hello everyone and welcome back to our monthly safety series. For the month of August, we'll be looking at road safety for our youngest learners. Teaching our children proper and effective road safety is one of the most important lessons we can share with them. Introducing them to the rules of road safety when they're young helps to enforce an awareness of the dangers of the road and, more importantly, an understanding of how to navigate those dangers. The best time to start teaching children about road safety is right now. It doesn't matter if they're 2 years old or 12 years old. If you haven't started yet, get going. The earlier they begin learning, the more comfortable they'll be when the time comes to put their knowledge into action. It's important to make learning road safety fun for youngsters. Instilling fear is a sure way for your efforts to backfire. Now, that being said, it's necessary to help young children realize that there are very real dangers associated with cars. By creating a learning environment that helps youngsters feel safe and at the same time have fun learning the rules of the road, you'll find that they're more eager to learn and use these lessons to help them stay safe. So first things first, to begin teaching road safety, children must learn to recognize stop signs and traffic signals. Start out with stop signs. Point a stop sign out to your child, talk about its color and maybe its shape and the reason for them. Then make a game of counting them during your walk. Whoever counts the most stop signs wins. Or maybe even come up with your own silly song to sing about stop signs each time you see them. After your child has learned to reliably recognize stop signs, that's when it's time to move on to traffic signals. Again, point them out, talk about them, and explain the colors of the traffic lights and what each one of them means. Obviously, red means stop, yellow, usually means slow down, and green means go. Once we know that they've mastered the idea of traffic signals, that's when we move on to the walk signals. We want to make sure they begin to check for the walking man or the walk signal, and notice when the orange hand or the don't walk signal starts flashing. Teach your children how to walk safely on sidewalks. Go for walks on quiet sidewalk streets, reminding them of a few things. One, walk as far from the curb as possible. Also, teach them to walk in the direction of oncoming traffic whenever possible, even on the sidewalk. It's a lot easier to move quickly out of danger if you see it happening in front of you rather than being aware of possible danger coming from behind. Make a game of holding hands by playing games. Squeeze each other's hands to see who's stronger or swing your arms back and forth while singing songs or skip down the street while holding hands. The key here is that you're holding hands. Make sure young children understand that running can be dangerous, even if they're on sidewalks. It's easier for kids to forget their road safety manners when they're excited and running about. After children are used to walking on sidewalks, that's when it's time to introduce them to street corners and the dreaded crossing. Begin by teaching them to look for crosswalks or zebra stripes if you want to make it fun. But remind them not to take crosswalks for granted. Just because they're in a crosswalk, it doesn't mean they're impervious to danger. Drivers make mistakes all the time. Make sure they know the steps to safely cross the street by teaching them to stop, look, and listen. Make a game of stopping at corners. Encourage games such as stomping or jumping with both feet at the corner to help them understand that they must come to a full and complete stop. Once your child understands that they must completely stop at all corners, it's time to teach them to always look both ways. First to the left, then to the right, and then the left again. This is an important habit to get them used to because it's a key safety habit to have, especially once they begin driving cars. 
When your child demonstrates that they've got the stopping and looking part of street crossing down pat, it's time to get them to also pay attention to the sounds around them. You want them to listen for oncoming cars and count how many seconds it takes from the time they hear an engine to the time the car passes by. This is a good idea to try near bends in the road. Although it's best to teach children to try and avoid crossing streets near bends or blind corners, there will come a time when they may find it's necessary to do so. In this situation, looking both ways just isn't enough of a precaution. Children must know to listen for the sounds of traffic as well. This is the time to teach your children that it is never a good idea to enter a roadway from between parked cars or on a hilltop. Remind them to always use crosswalks, bridges, or elevated walkways whenever they're available. If they must cross a street that has no crosswalks, it is vital that they know to cross at an intersection in order to remain as visible as possible to others. Remember, children are small. They're harder for drivers to see and so they must compensate for this by making themselves as obvious as possible. Be the person you want your kid to be. Most importantly, remember this. None of this advice is worth a hill of beans if you don't model the behavior that you're asking your kids to adopt. They're watching you all the time. Make sure you take advantage of their attention and behave the way you expect them to behave. Obey the rules of the road, adopt basic safety habits, and never, ever use your phone while driving or get behind the wheel if you've been drinking. Teaching road safety is a long and arduous process, but you can do it. Take it step by step and take the time you need to make sure your child understands your rules. You and your children will be very grateful you did. I hope you find these beginner road training safety tips helpful and that you'll join us again next month when we discuss bus safety. Until then, stay safe and Ona.